Hey, thought I would do a quick integral today. We have the integral from zero to pi over two, sine to the sixth x, cos cubed x, dx. Okay, now typically what we would do here is we would um, strip out a cosine, and then we'd set up a u substitution, right? So we'd have a cosine squared. We could write that as one minus sine squared, and then we'd be in good shape. But what I want to do is something a little different. I wanted to solve this using the beta function, and let's look at the formula for that right now. Okay, we have here our formula for the beta function, and you'll notice it's a little different than the formula that's probably more familiar that goes from zero to one. Interesting thing, if we did the usual way that I mentioned before, the u substitution, well, doing that, the bounds turn to zero or one, and it actually ends up looking like the, the beta function that we may know. And, and then by doing that, you can actually see the connection between the two formulas when, because it becomes clear by doing that u substitution. But anyway, but anyway, we're going to do it this way and use this formula. So what we just need to do here, first what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change it a little bit because I want to get it with, I don't want that two in front, but I can just divide by two on both sides. And then what I'm going to need to do here is solve for Z1 and Z2. So we need to equate two Z1 minus one equal to six. If we do that and solve for Z1, we find that Z1 is seven halves. And then for our Z2 value, same thing, um, just solving for Z2, 2z2 minus 1 equal to 3, we're going to find that z2 equals 2. And then we'll go to our formula, so we're going to have our 1 half, we're looking for, zam for, zam <laughs> we're looking for gamma of 7 halves times gamma of 2. Then we need to add these two together, and we're going to have in the denominator gamma of 11 over 2. Now gamma of 2 is just the same as 1 factorial, so we can cancel that one off. Gamma of 7 halves is going to be 5 halves factorial because the gamma is one more. So you subtract 1 from 7 halves, 5 halves, so 5 half factorial. We'll write that here. Then 11 halves is going to be 9 halves factorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write that out as 9 halves times 7 halves times 5 halves factorial. Cancel here, cancel here. Okay, I'll cancel a 2 with a 2. And then we'll bring a 2 into the numerator. We're just going to have 2 over 63. That's it, just a quick problem, so we'll stop it there, thanks.